X marks the spot in this special edition of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here, bringing you an unboxing video, of course, of this special limited edition. This game originally released on December the 4th in North America. I am very happy to finally have my hands on this. I did order it on time, early from Amazon, but they sent me the wrong thing, so I'm very excited to finally have this in my collection and to unbox this right now. This is a massive role-playing game brought to you by Monolith Soft for the Wii U. It is pretty highly acclaimed at 84% on Metacritic right now. It is the sequel to the very highly acclaimed Xenoblade Chronicles on the Nintendo Wii. I do recommend you check that out if you ever get a chance. Let's take a look at this box packaging. On the cover, you have a massive image of a skull that looks really cool. Those are the mechs that you can get within this game. It also has on the back a lot of information so you can understand what this game is kind of about. It says the Earth is gone after the first game, your new home awaits. Explore the strange vistas of a hostile alien planet. It says right here, discover, survey the vast uncharted reaches of the planet Mira. Fight, master combat, arts against ferocious life forms, large and small. And of course, also upgrade. Earn your own robotic skill and customize it to take on gigantic enemies head to head and travel to new heights. If you can see it, you can reach it. Now I must warn you, within this game, it actually does take almost two dozen hours for most players until they unlock the skill, the mechanized thing. It's almost as if you need to earn it before you can actually use the skill and travel anywhere within the world, which kind of makes sense to appreciate the vast scale of this game. Here is what you get in the limited edition set. You do get a 100 page art book. You get the game with a reversible cover exclusively to this set and you also get a matted art card that is 5x7. The really cool other thing is that you get a USB thumbstick with 10 songs pre-installed. I think it is 840 megabytes in size for any of you wondering. I have my exacto knife here so I'm just going to cut it open along the side and finally get to getting my hands on this for the first time. Like I said, I actually really wanted to play this over the Christmas and holiday break, but because it didn't come in correctly, originally they actually sent me in something very strange. They sent me something that was like a baby ergonomic carrying kit, and I didn't understand why they gave me that whatsoever. So everything is now corrected, which is awesome. And it's really cool to get my hands on this. So the first thing out is this art book. This thing is really thick. This looks absolutely tremendous. Wow, the art on this looks incredible. I will flip through some pages of that. Let's just see what else is obviously inside here. So I'll just leave this back there. Here we do have the game, which looks absolutely fantastic with another scale on there, of course. I will open that as well. But I'll just give you an idea of everything in here. There's the matted art card. And then you also have the USB thumbstick. And this thing is quite heavy. It feels like it's made of steel, actually. So that's a good place to start. This thing looks absolutely incredible. There's a little thing that you can slide up right here to obviously plug this into your computer. This looks like it's actually modeled after something in particular. It looks like it's part of the life hold unit from the game itself. So that's really awesome. Like I said, there's 10 songs on this. It holds roughly 840 megabytes from everywhere that I read online. You can put your own things on this. The songs are a little bit hard to get access to and to transport them onto your computer, but it's great that you do have songs from the game, and the music in the game I hear is absolutely outstanding. Let's get to unboxing this actual game right here. So let me just take my x knife to this plastic and get this out of here. Now the game is getting an 84% on Metacritic, which is not as high as the original game on the Nintendo Wii, the prequel I guess to this, but that is a great score. This game is much more highly action driven and game play based driven, whereas the other game I think was more story driven, and they are aware of that. So here we have the front, here obviously you have the back, it's a lot of the exact same stuff that you see before. You can play this game either using the Wii U Pro Controller or the gamepad as well, so it's kind of your choice in that regard. Let's open this up. There is no kind of art book that comes inside of here. There's no instruction manual. And there you have the game disc with the same art as the cover. But let's take a look at the alternate cover that you get with this that I'm told matches, and it does. It matches the special edition set, the front of that. So that's pretty cool right here. You can use either side. I'm probably going to use this side because it is a special edition. So that is absolutely your choice of which one to use. Just going to leave that over here on the side. Let's take a look at this matted art card. So on the back it does say limited edition art print. I'm not sure if they're actually numbered. This one does say certificate of authenticity 2015 Nintendo slash monolith soft. There is a number down here but it's like a serial number. I don't think these are actually numbered in any way but that's pretty cool. You can put this on your desk if you're a huge fan of the series. So that's really neat that they included that. And the last item that we should look at is this amazingly large art book. 
This thing looks very thorough. I think as a collector's edition, it's great that they actually included something like this. Let's just take a look at what this actually includes. Login and password, of course, just to give you an idea of every, not maybe every page, I won't give you that great a detail, but this is concept art of a lot of the massive creatures that are inside this game on the planet Mirror that you will be fighting against. Wow, that looks spectacular. Character design, male vision, female vision of different characters and suits. A lot of this is very colorful, and some of it's in black and white as well because it's early design concept art. Some of this also looks like it's art perhaps made from or already on the computer and different weaponized units that you can actually drive around. Goggles for different characters as well and different characters' designs. This thing looks absolutely incredible. If you're a fan of this series, a lot of the characters get their own designs too. I was hoping for some maybe two-page art designs or two pages that go over. I think there are a few of them, maybe if I just go through this page by page. That looks absolutely tremendous in color. That looks really cool. A lot of different designs and arts for this. I think getting some sort of these books really makes this worthwhile. It makes the limited edition kind of really neat and unique. Not something that anyone else would ever be able to get their hands on unless they can find this certain particular set. There's just so much detail work and almost some reading material that you can go through within this as well. So that's really unique. That's really cool that they include this. If you can find this set, like I said, you're probably paying double or triple the price of what you will actually find normally when it's supposed to be released for 90 US dollars, I think was the original price. This set, I am very impressed with. Monolith Soft has done great work. They have also created games in the past, like the Baton Kaito series on the Nintendo GameCube that I have right here. So make sure you check those out if you're interested in Monolith Soft's different productions. Let me know as a comment below, what do you think of this limited edition set? Do you think it's worth it? And were you able to get your hands on it? Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming.